Today I bring you a very special lady. This is Shobita Dhulipala. Uh, you might remember her from the beauty pageant, Miss India. You were Miss India 2013, if I remember correctly. What is that? Spi smile number? Four. Five. five. That's five. Okay, the haha. -ha. So Miss India girls all have levels. There's five levels of smiles, right? One being the smiles where you smile with your eyes. Give me number three. Number one. Come on. One. Just one. Okay, so that's one of the things that Shobita, uh, Shobita has accomplished in her life. Um, she's incredibly beautiful and with her doe eyes, Amindi eyes, I thought I'll take on one of the, the most common requests that I've got, especially from my viewers uh, in the Middle East. So this is a shout out to you guys, I hear you. And this is the answer, uh, my attempt at the Eid makeup look for all your festivals. Uh, so whether you're wearing a headscarf um, or not, this is something dramatic. It's a strong look. It's something that I thought Shobita can pull off very well with these beautiful eyes. Um, so here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> now I do want to hydrate Shobita's skin. I also want to make the foundation that I'm going to use a little thinner. So I'm not caking it on too much. This is Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in the number 4.5 Warm Natural. I'm going to take just one pump of the foundation and blend it out on my hand itself with that much of oil-free moisturizer by Kiehl's. Now, like I showed you the last episode with my um, darling Sanjana Ji, uh, which you all loved, I'm gonna mix this on my hand itself, thin it out with the foundation, rub it between my fingers, so quick and easy, no brushes involved, pat on the face. And really, how would you, is this, you know, you would think that I'm applying a little extra pressure, but if she did it herself, it would be really grisowing it, yeah. I suppose, because that's how we rub it into her skin. So I know that you've also got a degree in law, Right, and I think it's important to mention. I said to my man, I've got uh, Shobita, you know, like about the Miss India, she said, and she made a comment about the beauty pageant girl. Yeah, you know, there's a certain kind of girl world. that, yeah, being one of those airheads. So no offense, of course, I'm just having conversation. Yeah. But Shobita has got a degree in law. Yeah. That said, moving in with the Bobbi Brown concealer. This is number eight, peach. They call it the tinted eye brightener. I use it as a concealer. I don't question my motive. This is me being an artist using things the way I like. There's no, because. You know, some of you always say, oh, but he used the wrong brush with the wrong product. No wrong, no right, there's no rules. Do it your way. See, I'm just using my fingers to blend. And I'm not complaining. And she's not complaining. Kissy for that. <laughs> okay, did you know the ring finger is called the makeup finger? Because, because think about it, you can control all your fingers, but you have least control over the ring finger. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's the softest touch. So you can really go into the areas under the eyes and it doesn't hurt. So I, I, I have more control because over the years I've used only this finger for makeup. Mm -hmm. Now to set that foundation, this is a transparent powder by Inglo. Okay, I'm just going to dust this on the nose to erase any shine. Around the nose, upper lip, the chin. I'm not so much worried about uh, powdering the under eyes because I know that I'm going to be using all these colours in the eyes and therefore we might have a lot of fallout that we have to clean and add concealer again. So we'll wait and see. Let's go with the flow. To begin the eyes, this is Ultimate Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow by Too Faced called Lockdown. It's quite thin, see? So I've applied it with one finger, but I'm using another finger to blend into the crease, you see? So I'm not taking away too much product. So I apply with one finger, but blend with another. This product by Sephora is a lovely notebook. It's very colorful. 12 eyeshadows. It comes with a lovely brush. One side is an artificial fiber slanted brush and the other side is a regular eyeshadow, flat eyeshadow brush and a nice black Kajal pencil. So I quite like it, it's colorful. I'm gonna use these two blues in her eyes and maybe the gold, maybe the black, we'll see. So I'm gonna go with a lighter blue now. I'm gonna take the eyeshadow brush, pick this lighter blue, just gonna apply this on the middle of the eye, blending onto the sides. I'm not so much worried about the outside because I'm gonna get another deeper blue there. Next what I'm going to do is flip the brush over, pick the deeper blue. Now the lighter blue is called Magnetic Aqua and the deeper blue is called Blue Crystal. So I'm going to take Blue Crystal now, put that in the outer corner of her eye right there, slowly lift it up into the crease. Now with the MAC 217 brush, I'm going to literally pick some more of the blue, which is very little, just so that I don't take out too much product from there, but instead lock it in place. I'm going to show you that look directly into the camera for you guys, at you and put that brush right there in the corner. Keep looking at the camera and blending it in the crease. Now with the same kit came the Sephora. I've never used this, you can see it's brand new. Let's see how 
nice black not ultra black but it's still black um ideally i would have used like a gel liner maybe by whether it's maybelline or whether it's uh, mac whether it's bobby brown they all have black gel liners they're easy to blend um so gel is a nice medium to work with however i've forgotten to bring that product today so this is what i have to salvage the look i'm going in with this kajal pencil i'm going to draw a regular eyeliner but 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 you see what i'm doing is i'm at the end of her lashes is where I just lift up and away, trying to get as precise and winged out and thin a line as I can. Now, I do like the pencil, but it's not as strikingly dark black as I would have liked. So I'm going to go in with the Dior Style Liner. So this is Dior's Style Liner, liquid liner. All right, let's do something then. I'm going to ask um, Shobita to look at the bottom left side of her, yeah, right there. And I'm gonna take this and extend it a little more here. Pulling that out. So going in with that Sephora pencil again because it's a lighter black. And I'm going to ask you with a look up and from the outer corner of the eye right here, I'm just gonna strengthen this black line okay, under the lashes. Now, you know, with the liquid liner, a lot of people have a problem drawing a uh, liner on that eye. They don't know where to start with a stop. I just keep going, keep stretching it and seeing at what point I'm happy with it and then I just stop. But the best trick is always to start from the outside for me. A lot of people like to start on the inside, so it's really subjective. For me, I like to start on the outside by winging it up. So when I wing that up and then that end point, I can just connect with one line. But that's also because I'm doing makeup on someone else's face. If I were doing it on my own face, I probably would start from the inside, then do the outside and then connect both together. That's another style. So see, play with it and see what works for you. Now I have a smudger brush, you get these everywhere. Taking this black eyeshadow, it's called charcoal black, just a little bit. Buff that into this eyeshadow, I mean into that, uh, what, do you, what do we use, a pencil. Now this is a product by Garlon, um, it's actually the Surma, and there's, they have like four, three or four colors. I managed to get this blue, I've uh, never used it. Okay, so let's see, this is a Surma stick, right? A surma is what all um, Middle Eastern Kajal. So what you do is you just open your eye and then you close it and you're wearing lenses, so uh, there it is. Now what I'm gonna do is with a rounded brush again, I'm taking the deeper blue and just connecting the end of the liner, okay? And I'm gonna go in with the black this time, same brush, with the black, and at the end, just to intensify that outer corner of the eye. With a cleaner brush, the one I'd used earlier, I'm just gonna blend this the next thing I'm going to do is take this gold, which is called Brilliant Yellow, and use this as a highbrow, highbrow, no, eyebrow highlight. I'm using it on the brow bone right there. Now this is just experimental. It's Lancome's Art Liner. It stays for 24 hours, liquid liner, it's a gold. So I'm going to start there, let it go parallel to the black and up, like that. Then I'm going to go in with this NYX Glitter Gold Liner. It has, I'm going to go over this because I want it to glitter a little bit, because why not? Like that. Is take a liquid liner. This anyone's fine. A black liquid liner. This is by Nars, and I'm going to, under the under the gold is where I'm going to place this. So we really got that triple wing effect. Just going to start from there, then sort of wing that up. It's just parallel. It's not joining the upper liner. It's just parallel too. So start from there, and then you can just connect it. So I'm using a not so dark a brown, but a medium brown. Uh, pencil called Spiked by MAC. I'm going to draw or draw a line under the brow right here first. Then what I'm going to do is take this Ben Nye Brown mascara for the brows and I'm just going to brush this into the brows so you don't see that the line that I just drew with the pencil. Using this Full Exposure Smashbox mascara, I'm going to coat the lashes right here. Now, I found these beautiful lashes online on Instagram. They have a pay, uh, they have an Instagram account called Model Rock, something like Model Rock Lashes. I'm following them, um, so you can search on my list. So go to my Instagram if you want to see and then find them. Uh, they've got beautiful lashes, great packaging. Come, uh, it's delivered quite quickly. Um, and it says, don't get caught lashless, 100% human hair. So taking this first lash, starting on the outside, stick it as close to the lash line as possible. Now you could leave it at that, or you could put another coat of mascara. So I'm going to throw another coat of mascara right there. My trusty friend, Casino by Nars, is the bronzer that I'm going to use today. You can 
also put this in the jawline. You can also draw two thin lines on either side of the nose. Right there. Now the bronzer that we just took, Casino, I'm going to pick this with a rounded brush, regular eyeshadow brush, and just buff that on the inner corners of the eyes right there. So we're blending that blue with this bronzer up till the brow into the beginning of the crease. This is a pencil I just found by Provoc. It's a semi-permanent gel lip liner in the number Cinnamon and Sugar, number 29, my age. So I'm just going to draw, it's pretty much the same color as the skin, just a little lighter. And on top of this, I'm going to add Melted Nude by Too Faced. It's a long wearing lipstick again, but instead of putting it directly on her face, I'm gonna just ooze some out on this tube. Pick it with my finger, ask her to pout, and just dab, 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 dab. Now I've looked at it from a distance. I like everything, but I felt like the lip could have a little more dimension. So I've taken a deeper color. This is by Bourgeois. Number 12, Facetious. It's a little deeper than this color that we already have on here. Just gonna give it a bit of an ombre effect. So the lip line is gonna be in this color. And inside here, I'm gonna just blend that. Don't you think she looks like Angelina Jolie? I feel like certain angles. Let me show you. Wow. Oh my God, yeah. But I also say Mila Kunis sometimes. A little bit here or there. But I think the most, the nicest thing of all is Shobita Dhuli Pala our very own brown Indian beauty, ex-beauty <laughs> queen, lawyer, backpacker. Beautiful hair. She, there are no extensions in her hair. This is true Indian, South Indian beauty. Yeah, like it or hate it. <laughs> like it or hate it. It can be painful, right, to have such lush hair. Yeah. But anyway. But thank you so much, Shobita, for being a part of my uh, episode. Um, look at me. Don't, don't stop yourself from <laughs> falling in love. Okay? <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is when the two roses come together and hide it. Don't forget to like the video if you like Shobita. Share it if you like me. And subscribe to the channel if you like uh, the makeup. And Eid Mubarak. Have a great festival season. Um, and we'll see you again. Do it the pageant way. We blow a kiss at the same time. One, and we'll two, see you again next week. I have this BB cream by The Body Shop. It's called the Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream in the shade number 03 and a foundation by Maybelline called Dream Satin Skin in number 4. So I'm going to just mix that, take it on both my hands, the pads of my fingers, pat that onto the skin. So, I'm going to use more brushes than 4 brushes, that's all. 